hello 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 my beautiful and my lovely people how are you all doing today yes i know you're good i know you're good because if god be for you and i who can be against us nobody we are coming out strong daily to the glory of the lord my old and my new subscribers you are welcome god bless you all richly in the name of jesus you are welcome god bless you i have a word for somebody today how to avoid divorce divorce in a marriage as a question how to avoid divorce in a marriage this is for both men and women you know that god loves marriage so well god is so interested about marriage you know that it's not we that make marriage it's god that started this marriage because when god created adam adam did not know that he was alone Adam did not complain. Adam did not complain that I am alone. But God knows that Adam is not complete. And he makes him to complete by bringing Eve. That means God loves marriage. And the serpents too know that marriage is a threat to him. That's why he has to go through Eve in order to bring disaster, disaster in that union. So what am I trying to say? A lot of enemy out there are not happy when couples are happy. A lot of people out there are not happy when couples are happy. They are looking for a way in order to put asunder in that home. So you must always be prayerful. How to avoid divorce is number one to be prayerful and to be reading the word of God. Number two is to know the area that everything started. When you first met, everything was sweet. But how come things is not turning upside down? What happened? What went wrong? You have to think back and see the way you're going to amend it. If maybe, for example, your husband or your wife is no longer failing you, you have to put more effort in order to, to sweet that marriage. Even though you are a Christian, don't because of people are pushing you to do things that is your husband is not pleased with and be doing it in your home because every man is different. If your husband did not like the way you are dressing, change it. If your husband is not like the way you are not taking care of yourself because you have given birth, change it. Because people that we ask you not to care doesn't matter. Those people are the ones that is still going to laugh you tomorrow that you didn't hold your marriage very well. The word of God says, as God is the head of the church, so is your husband the head of your home. So if anything is going contrary to the ways that your husband don't like it in that home, he has the right to correct it. That sweetheart, I don't like the way you're dressing. So you have to correct it. If you see, a lot of marriage today are going like through divorce because someone overlook. Maybe your husband is no longer feeling you, your wife is no longer feeling you, the romance is no longer there. You say, okay, maybe it's just the work, maybe it's just that. But gradually, the fire is quenching. It's going down. You can even stay for three months, four months without a, a, a meeting out together or kissing or touching each other or or romantic, you just take it as normal. My husband is working. No, my husband is a Christian. My wife is a Christian. But you are quenching the fire. Before you will know, the man will not be feeling anything. The woman will not be feeling anything. So you have to go back and think where you miss it. And put it in the hands of God and build your home upon the solid rock of God. You can still be beautiful and serve God. Because we are wonderfully and beautifully made. My husband might just like me like this. Just I can even take a, another hair tie now and just tie on my hair. My husband might not care. So don't look at me. Look at your husband. What did your husband like? Did your husband like the way you are just looking? Did your husband, is he feeling it? When you are staying in the parlor before you met your husband, when you just newly met, your husband will not put your head on a lap. You will lie down. You will be talking. And those things is no longer happening. I know when you have, when you give birth, a lot of things change because of the children. Okay, but those things are not just far. Once in a while, it's not happening. Don't say it's normal. The fire is going down. Some don't go through divorce, but you will be there. Nothing. 
It's just as if you are living with your brother and your sister. And why your husband will be having feelings for another woman out there. You have to know and pray. Say, God, reveal to me what am I doing wrong in this home. Let me make it right. People might feel that you don't know what you are doing. No. You know what you are doing. As far as your husband is pleased with you. And God is pleased with you. You are with God. You know that you have not eh, 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 do anything wrong in the sight of God. You are respecting your husband. You are not dressing rough. You are not wearing tattered, battered clothes because you want to be fashionable. But you are just dressing to look beautiful for your husband. Mm. You don't have any problem at all. Just look for where that mistake started and correct it. Correct it. Immediately. If before you kiss your husband when you come back from work, correct it. Divorce is not the, the solution. The children need both of you. Both of you need both of you. As, as you are aging, as you are older, you need both of you. Yes. If your home is not good, because your home has to be the first church. Your husband has not kissing you for many months and you are saying it's normal. You check if there is something that is taking your husband back, if there is something that is taking your wife back. Before, as a mom, maybe you shave, you take care of yourself, you wash your bosses, but now everything is just smelly. You come back from work, you go to bed like that. Check all those things. What is taking your wife far from you? What is taking your husband far from you? Is it because you just give birth, you just leave yourself like that? I know that we had weight because a like, person like me, I am blessed. I will not say I'm fat, but gradually still do something. Still do something. If you're following people that is always telling you wrong things about home, about marriage, you have to avoid and look for those people that will sharpen it to you that their own is still good and they want yours to be good too. So I made it and you can still make it come to pass. Marriage is sweet. Don't enjoy, endure it. Enjoy it. I pray today may God speak to your heart. Any marriage that is going to trauma, receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. I bless your home. Your home will never go through divorce in the name of Jesus. Your home will never go through pain in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. If you see a lot of people today that is divorcing, they will tell you that they don't feel it anymore. Some will say they don't feel it anymore. I pray may God bless you and may God give you wisdom. He said, be wise as a serpent and be harmless as a dove. That may that sense we need it. God bless you. I love you. Take care of yourself.